Although finding ways through Google Maps has become more accessible, people still resort to the traditional method of asking people for directions. It is because it has been a vital habit of humans for ages to seek others' support while locating places. And since it is hardwired into our brains, people find it challenging to part ways with it, too. With AI generating pictures as per the provided prompt, the jobs of Photoshop developers are in jeopardy. Those with linguistic skills can create better responses than those with domain expertise in Photoshop. Hence, image improvement professionals must think beyond the conventional domain. Slowly and steadily, the electric cars are gaining momentum. Still, people are apprehensive about their efficacy because the market is full of rumors that the battery replacement cost is high and the repair cost is also substantial. However, these are all lies. Electric cars are the future and will soon gain momentum. An efficient public transportation system can help us with traffic congestion. Singapore is the prime example of its metro system. The best in the world. Due to this, people with opulent lifestyles also prefer to travel by public transport rather than in their cars.
Eating organic food is a prudent idea to maintain optimum health, although it is an expensive everyday food item. The health benefits you get are immense. Spending extra bucks on buying organic food to live a disease-free life is worthwhile. Although soya provides immense health benefits, its excessive usage could lead to hormonal disorders, especially in females. The thumb rule is to have it in moderation, maybe once a week, and try not to overconsume it in one meal. There is no denying this conviction that sales is the most pressured job in this world. It would help if you planted seeds in the prospective customers' minds to churn a deal. To do that, salespersons must go beyond the conventional domain and indulge in various promotional activities, which are both time-consuming and exhausting. Most youngsters want to rake in big bucks but do not try to work hard. There is a vast difference between their deadlines and their actions. Two things that are clear to them are goals and deadlines. However, the process to complete those is outside their minds.
Grit is a vital asset. To maintain it, we should spend less energy at the beginning of the day. Instead, we should conserve it for the rest of the day because if you do substantial things in the mornings and feel exhausted by the afternoons, your precious time goes to waste. People immigrate to developed countries for greener pastures. Once they reach there, they get into a vicious cycle to earn a lot of money. And to have more, they work hard. And the circle continues. Once they retire, they realize they have been nothing but money minting machines for the past 30 years. Various governments have observed that stringent rules and regulations could be more successful in handling cybercrime. Hence, they are devoting their focus to launching awareness campaigns to educate the general public regarding how not to fall prey to cyber fraudsters. The marketing people have this uncanny knack for building castles in the air. They leave no stone unturned to generate more sales and exaggerate the product features. Due to that, the customers feel duped. Once a company gets a lot of complaints, it goes for belt tightening tactics to tame the marketing people. Consequently, the sales go for a toss.
For learning any language, practice is more important than knowledge of grammar. Living in an environment where people speak that language is worthwhile because by merely listening to others, we improve a lot because our subconscious mind keeps picking words. Once we try to talk, we have enough vocabulary to support us. Poets thrive primarily on imagination to produce new content. A poet doesn't know any boundaries. Whatever comes to his mind, he expresses it in words that ultimately are a blessing for the prospective listener. Thus, working on your creativity muscle is imperative to become a renowned point. In the budding years, children must devote much time to reading. A must-have skill to rise and shine in your career. It is a gospel truth that readers are leaders because by going through the content of others, we gain valuable insights that help us a lot during unforeseen contingencies. We should not feel overwhelmed with occasional success in our business because that could be temporary. Sometimes, the market conditions are like that, which provides us with a quantum leap for a specific period. And in the subsequent months, the figures come to the previous levels. Hence, we shouldn't feel disheartened if there is less in our lives. And if more is coming, we should remain humble.
For years, there was little junk food in the market. There were very few products that would come in packets. People tended to eat organic food, so fewer diseases made inroads into their lives. But the scenario has changed. For a comfortable lifestyle, people eat food products that are detrimental to their health. There is a growing debate about which is better, individual or group learning. Individual learning provides you with freedom, and you can concentrate better. However, you have limited ideas. On the contrary, group study no doubt has a lot of distractions, but you get a boatload of ideas. Moreover, you feel more competitive. Hatred and revenge are silent killers that take you from your path. If someone does something wrong to you, you shouldn't overreact. Instead, your central focus should be on your work because it is not your duty to punish that person and leave this task to the Almighty so that you can lead your career towards the right trajectory. Most people love to run after instant gratification, and they spend a large part of their money on holidays and expensive meals in restaurants. However, if it is about putting money into products like life and health insurance, they refrain from doing that. That is why it is said that nobody buys insurance. It is the insurance agent who needs to convince people to buy them.